Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to present to you a visual search system. And visual search basically is a process of visually identifying object in, a in the field of view and uh, uh, amongst, the many, amongst the many distracted objects. So uh, when human beings do the visual search, we are going to use our, our eyes to, to extract the information from the field of view. And all these information will go through our retina and pass on to our brain. And our brain will process all these information and make final decisions for uh, what we are looking for. And because I'm, I'm working on computer science, so uh, I'm going to use a computer to model this working process. So uh, in this working process, I have to have a camera to instead of our eyes. And uh, uh, all the information will go through the camera and pass on to computer, pass on to CPU, GPU, or whatever. And we will do a whole bunch of calculation in the CPU and GPU, and we will make a decision by the, uh, based on the calculation. And, but first of all, we need, if we want to solve the problem, we have to have a psychological model. The reason we have to have this model is because most of the scientific research are inspired by the, uh, by, by the nature of phenomenon. For instance, uh, we, uh, we create a plane uh, inst we, we was inspired by the shape of birds, and we create a sonar was inspired by, by a capability of dumping, and we also create the radar which uh, uh, ins was, was inspired by the, uh, by the capability of bats. So uh, on, in the first uh, presenter, she, her on, uh, in, in, in her research also based inspired by the bats. So um, uh, I'm working on the visual search, so it's a kind of human beings visual search. So I'm going to select one of the human beings psychological model. So it's called the GS, GSM model. It's, uh, it stands for the guided search model. So in this model, uh, it consists of three steps. First off, the bottom up attention. So the bottom up attention is actually is, is extracting the object from the field of view. There's no comparison, just the extract the object from the background. And the second step, we are going to extract the, the features from the, each of the object. And the, these features will pass on to the, the third, step, first third step. And in the third step, we are going to use these features to do the comparison between the different objects. And the final decision will be made, made rely on the, uh, the computation, will rely on the comparison, the dissimilarity or similarity. So uh, the details about the algorithm and the implementations and even the experiment I will give in the uh, uh, ACS research, research Week presentation. So everybody here will be, re will, will be welcomed to, uh, to attend, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all here. Thank you very much.